Hey everybody, it's Joy with joyslife.com and on this week's episode of 52 I thought we'd work on making our own cards using the Silhouette Cameo. Well, what I've got here, it's very simple to do. It's just a simple card that I've created using the shapes on the left hand side of the screen. So if you'll click draw a round rectangle, you can also use regular rectangle or even the circle, um, we're just going to draw a quick rectangle. I'm holding my mouse button down on my mouse, it's the uh, left button, and I'm just dragging the item down until I've got the shape I want or the width I want of the rectangle. Um, that looks close on the height, but the width isn't exactly what I want. So you can click on it and move it around and adjust it as you need to. Uh, double click to do that. Or you can go right over, let's see, where is it? To the scale window and you can choose the dimension that you want. So I'm going to say I'd like mine to be 4 by 3, for example. And you see it'll shrink to the 4 by 3 size. Well, the way I've made this one is I wanted it to be 8.5 by 4.5. No, wait, by 5.5. Yeah, right? 5.5 by 8.5. There we go. So all you have to do is you can either double click until you see this box with the uh, widths and lengths to it, or, and then you can adjust it like that, or you can go to specify your dimensions in the scale box. So let's do that real quick. I'm just going to hit or type in 8.5 by 5.5. Oops, wrong way. Let's do that the other way. 5.5 by 8.5. There we go. And now you've got the shape that you need. Let's move that right over here. Now that's one way to do it. You could, let me change, I'm going to change the lines in this so you can see it a little bit better. To do that you just go to line style and increase the thickness. Let's do that with this one too. That way you can see what I'm talking about. There we go. Okay. Now, with the one on the right here, you could just use a bone folder and fold this in half and just use the Cameo to cut it out. But what I like to do sometimes is to make this dotted line in the middle uh, so it's all perforated and it will easily fold. That's another way to do this. So, let's make our circle again. Here we've drawn it out. And then all you need to do is to duplicate it. That way you have these nice little um, indentions on the sides of your of your envelope, I mean of your card, which can look kind of cute if you want that. So let's, we've got this one selected. We want to duplicate it below. All right, now that's all you have to do. You go to this little button that looks like a flower. It's the replicate window. Now I'm just going to select everything and I'm just using my mouse again to uh, drag a box around it to select the whole thing. Then I'm going to right click on my mouse, go down and choose weld. Now that is going to join the two shapes together. Now you can see that we have the same outline as this card. And again if I want to make it a certain size, let's go to the window again. Why can I never remember which one it is? There we are, the scale window. And type in the size you want it to be. Okay, there we go. I was pretty close anyway. Um, the reason I'm choosing the 8.5 by 5.5 or the reverse is because that's the size of a standard A2 size card that will fit in a regular envelope. Let me change, oh there we go, line thickness again so you can see what I'm doing. Alright, now I'm going to move this other one that we've already done out of the way a bit so you can better see what I'm doing. Okay. Now we just want to make our line go across the center here so it will be perforated when the Silhouette Cameo cuts it out. Easy. We're just going to go up here to the Draw Line button on the top left. Now I'm going to hold down my Control button. This is to make the line be pretty straight across. It doesn't matter if you waver it or not, it'll still be straight like that and it'll keep on drawing as long as I'm holding that down. And that looks good enough to me. Well you'll notice now it's just a straight line and that's not what we want because that'll make the silhouette just cut that piece out. That won't work for our needs. 
So I'm going to choose one of these line styles. Oops, let's select the line first. There we go. Now you'll see if you click on that line style, you'll get a small perforation. Let me increase this line again. Wow, it was right there and I moved it. Oops, okay. Or you can have more little dots that are more spaced out or that. I kind of like that one. You can keep on going until you find what you like. Okay, I'm going to stick with that. So that is all you do to make your card. Now if I select the entire thing, I can make sure we've got everything um, lined up like I want it. I'm going to hit Align Middle, and that puts my line right in the middle. Now it was already there, but let's say I hit Align Top, and you'll see that sends it to the very top. Okay, well we don't want it there because that would be weird. We want it to be able to fold. So now all you have to do is send this to your silhouette and you have your whole card, which is totally awesome. That's real simple. Let me show you how the finished product looks. This is great, by the way, because you can make as many cards as you need to very quickly and then you can just apply your stamp to the inside or the outside, a cute little image or a sticker or whatever on the front, and you've got a great little card. My Silhouette Cameo is on, so I will hit Send to the Silhouette. And I like to cut mine, uh, let's see, down here. I'm using right now just some, you know, not terribly thick cardstock, but I still like to use this textured cardstock, heavy eight pound, 80 pound, uh, to, to do my cutting. All right, all I need to do is hit cut and we will get going. Now I'm just going to use some white cardstock that I got from Hobby Lobby or Michaels. I can't remember which one. It's pretty inexpensive by the paper company. So I'll just pull that out. And again, I'm using a Cricut mat to go in my Silhouette Cameo because I have a lot of them on hand. And they fit and work very well in the Cameo. So that's awesome. All right, just sticking the mat down. And I'll feed it in and we will start cutting. Okay, I just hit cut and now it is cutting out our cards. Okay, they're all done. So I'm just peeling the paper away. And here they are. This is just simple, simple, simple. And remember, you don't have to use white. Use any color that you like because it's just a quick way to have cards all ready for you to stamp on or do whatever you want to do. And what I like to do is make a smaller insert for this part of the card so you can stamp on that or, or add something. And that way, if you have that extra piece, if you mess up, you don't mess up your whole card. You can just throw away that extra piece. I love that because I sometimes make colossal mistakes, you know, and you don't want your whole card to be ruined just because you did one small thing wrong. All right, there it is. Two cards quickly cut out and you just made them yourself. You didn't have to buy anything to do that. I love that. Oh, do you see that? I'm wearing my robe. Sorry. Anyway, <laughs> it's kind of late here, so I stuck my robe on. Also, I'm freezing. It is just chilly as can be in my house right now. Alrighty. Well, there we are, and I'll show you a finished project with one of these real soon. Thank you for coming to joyslife.com and watching this episode of 52. I hope you learned how to make some cool envelopes. I mean, uh, cards, not envelopes. Envelopes, different thing. But anyway, I hope you guys have a great day and keep coming back. I'll see you next week. Bye.